Yo, 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 it's James Mac 3, and this is James Mac 3 TV. And we fucking with CC. Say what's up, CC. What's up? And we are incorporated in this bitch. Now we coming through. CC got a couple clips for us that just happened in Whitlam. Um is Whitlam Baltimore County or Baltimore City? That the county? Both. I don't know. Both. It's like a side thing. So they, okay. they calling it Baltimore, so they calling it Whitlam. I don't know. Okay, so uh won't you explain to me and the viewers what we about to see? <coughs> uh <clears throat> it's a it's a video, it's a three-part video. We got it in clips. There's a police encounter, like always. And there's a case of pro they want to say it's a case of police brutality, but it's become controversial. I don't know why. I haven't seen it. This is gonna be our first time seeing it. So I don't know. I don't know what happened in the video. I just know I have a video. Okay. Without further ado, go ahead and run the video and then CC. Let's see what we're looking at. All right. All right, so you um, want to start? You want to start from there? Yeah. All right. What I was saying was, um, it it, it looked like police brutality off top because he looked like he was punching them in the head. So I mean, is that what you saw? Yeah, that's 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 exactly what I saw. Right. I um, mean, it was that's what it came. I was. You know what I'm saying? I don't even see what the fuck. Like, if you trying to get him to get his arms behind his back, why are you punching him in the head? Right. What the fuck is that about? And you and 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 that's a and that's a black officer. So mm -hmm. from what I've just just seen that little clip, shame on you, you fucking bitch. You know what I mean? That's why niggas don't fuck with the pigs now. You a <laughs> bitch ass nigga for that. And and you black, that's fucked. That's a double fuck up. Like you a police and you abusing your motherfucking power, and you a black man treating another black man like that. You bitch. All right, I'm done. Go ahead, do your thing. Right, Hold up, one more door. time, one more time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm I apologize, viewers. You bitch. All right, I'm ready. It is part two. It's your fucking job, you dumbass. Dumbass. They don't need no any sorry. No bullshit, man. Dumbass. I got your phone at y'all. Come on, you see your phone. I got the whole video. Yeah, boy, no bullshit. I got your phone. Hey, I'm going to play the rest. Alright. Y'all did too much. It's cool, bro. I got you, bro. You just lost your job. That's real shit. You just lost your fucking job. Y'all did too much. Y'all did too much. Run what I read, Hold up. what Run I read on the internet is people in the comments on like that post that says that that's not the whole video and that the boy squared up with him and dropped his bags and tried to fight the police. But I had not come across that clip. That's all that I found. So, all right. So, even if he did square up with the police, he dropped his bag. <laughs> Clearly, the officer had the advantage by then. And you punching them all in his fucking head after the fact he's detained is still some bullshit. Once right. he is on the ground and you got you and your partner have him detained, why are you punching this man, sir? 
straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if he did square up with you, you know what I'm saying? He ain't had no knife, no gun, and he's detained at this time. He's on the ground, got his arms sprawled out, his legs, your partner on his legs, and you punching this nigga. Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. Yeah, that is that is that is excessive. And yeah, that nigga should lose his fucking job or something should happen. Suspension with no pay, something. That probably will happen. That's that's it is. I think it's Baltimore County. If it's Woodline, it's it said Woodline. I don't know if it's. It doesn't look like. I don't know if it's Baltimore City Police or Baltimore County. But you know, definitely brutality. Fuck yeah, excessive as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to hear no shit about. Uh, uh, we do it to each other all the time and all them dumbass excuses. This is a fucking officer. He took an oath. He has a badge. It's rules and regulations that come with the badge. You got to have a, you got to be an upstanding person. You know what I'm saying? When you in that position and he wasn't an upstanding motherfucker and he was throwing blows like he was in, like he from the streets. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to act like that, you should have just took the badge off and squared up for real. Giving them hella blows. You seen that shit? Yeah, yeah. He was he was giving them. This shit. Run, run that first clip again. Run that first clip for me again, CC. Turn around, 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 turn around. Chill, yo. Put your hands back. Put your hands back. All right, from what I just seen, right, the officer gave at least two hooks and two elbows, <coughs> and he was telling the man to put his hand behind his back, and he had his hand like. I don't know if you can see this, but he had his hand this way. He was grabbing his hand from this. There's no fucking way for me to put my hand behind my back when you got my shit like this, bitch. So that's, that's, you keep saying put your hand behind your back. But every time he lift up, he load up with a hook or he load up with an elbow. Like it's, it's going against everything. You not, you not even trying to attempt to put his hand behind his back. You elbowing him in the head and he giving him a hook. Him. Yeah, to the head. That's what he was doing. He was just beating him. So, yeah, that's that. He he definitely should be dealt with, like losing his job or something like that. He was out of order. He probably had a bad day, you know what I mean, at home for real with his wife or something. Wife cheating on him, fucking with a nigga that looked like yo, and he gonna go and do that excessive shit. I don't know if he had the right to pull him over or do what he did, but once you detain, even if a nigga is wrong and he run or something, or and there's no danger to you, and he's detained on the ground. You just supposed to do your job. All that fucking UFC punching shit that you doing, that nigga, like he's 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 unarmed and he's not. He can't even really, you know, fin like like get you up off of him, like because he's just on the ground helpless. How the fuck am I gonna put my hands behind my back and you punching me in my head, motherfucker? I'm 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 shielding my fucking head in my face. Why am I gonna listen to you at this point? Because I know people gonna say it. It might get down in the comments. He should have just listened. How am I going to listen when he's throwing elbows and hooks at my fucking head? He's going to put my hand behind. No, I will not. I'm going to protect my motherfucking head. Because if I put my hand behind my back, here go the elbow. Bang, right on my fucking face. I could be dead then. So, you know what I mean? That little nigga protected himself until, you know what I'm saying? He felt like he could put his hands behind his back or whatever. But you can't tell me put my hands behind my back and you hit me in the fucking head. I'm going to protect my fucking head, period. Great. Yeah, that was a bitch ass. That, that was some bitch ass shit. I knew it was gonna be some bitch ass shit too when you you know what I mean, but but I mean the way the way is you have to look at how they're portraying it in the media, so they already know that it was some bitch ass shit, but they're gonna throw it out there and say, Do you think that this was police brutality? Of course it is, because you're not supposed to hit as the police, it's not supposed to be part of your job to attack people. You're not supposed to, even if you know. You're trying to like. I mean, I just don't understand why that would come up. It's so the law, many things. They're the police are law enforcement agents. They're yeah. supposed to enforce the law, and there's nothing legal about assaulting someone if yeah. you're the police or not. So, and, 
And there's so many steps that you can take if you fear for your safety. You have pepper spray, sir. It's there for a reason. Pepper spray will motherfucking, you know what I mean, do whatever it need to do to get that motherfucker down where though you don't have to hurt him or hurt yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of different things you can do. He, he he wasn't there by himself. The police officer wasn't there by himself because you're not allowed to arrest people alone. So if it was already two against one in the first place, how they couldn't take that man down on his own without beating him? Right. And two then officers. He, look, and even if even if you know you did have to you know get his ass down you when, when the like when that. the video look when the video came on, the man was down. He was on the ground under two policemen. He was under you guys. His hands was over his head. And you telling him, put your hands behind the back. And you punching the nigga. And, uh, and your, your partner is, you know, got his legs, basically. So it's like he couldn't do anything. Right. I call, I call fuckery. And that's what that was. What we just watched. I'm sorry that it had to be. A motherfucking a police that looked like us because he just made it look bad for the force and he made it look bad for us. Use a fucked up ass officer for that. You officer foley ass nigga. That's why people don't like the police. For shit, just like that. And if you don't know, you know what I'm saying? You you come across this and you don't know. Police do this type of shit on the regular. On the regular, especially in Baltimore County and Baltimore City, and they Baltimore fuck people up. Yeah, they fuck up people on the regular, just like that. Look up how many motherfucking cases Baltimore got against the police. The citizens got from getting fucked up and beaten, mistreated, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that officer makes it look bad for other officers when you're doing that because you abusing your authority. Even if that man was in the wrong, once he's detained, why are you punching him in his face? What's the point? It's crazy. No, that's my uh, that's my neighbor uh, starting up. Uh, you know what I mean? Hello, punch buggy. Yeah, and you know, you always going. I'm sorry to say this, but it's always going to be cases like this. You know what I'm saying? Where people are abusing, you know, their 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 uh, authority, and it's not going to change. I'm sorry to say that it's not going to change. It's fucked up, but that's the way the world is working right now. What you think, CC? Yeah, I mean, I th it can change, but I think it would have to start from ground zero. Like everything would have to fall apart and fall like Rome and be born again and be brought anew i don't think you can fix this mess this system is faulty yeah yeah man before we get off of here you know what i'm saying when you when you're dealing with the police man and 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 you in that type of situation Go ahead, try to cooperate as best as possible. If if you if you gotta do what you gotta do to stay alive, man, you do what you gotta do. I I I wouldn't have put my hands behind my back neither. I'm sorry, like you punching me in my fucking head. I'm gonna protect myself as as long as I can. You know what I'm saying? And you telling me to do something, but you're doing something to prevent me from doing what you're asking me. You want me to put my hands behind my back? Stop punching me on my fucking head. And I could do that for you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 man, it's a, it's crazy. I really can't. I'm kind of speechless about it because there's nothing you could really do. You know the the citizen. It's nowhere in the book that I have to be polite to an officer. As long as I'm not doing anything like vulgar to catch a charge, whereas I could be detained, I don't have to be nice and polite to a police officer. That don't give him the right to fucking punch on me. And even if I am in the wrong and I have to be detained, 
once I'm detained, why are you doing all the extra shit, putting your knee on my neck? That for what? It's two of y'all on me. That shit is bullshit. I don't give a fuck how much people say, hey, you should have just followed the rule, listen to the officers there. The officers are not always right. And clearly you can see it from these clips that they want some bullshit. But, you know what I'm saying? We'll be back at you with another one. CC, close us out, man. Time to give us your last, you know, your closing remarks on this shit, man. We're going to get up out of here.